just based in uh, capacity building, what we mean by capacity building, how can we put out some of the ethical uh, dimensions of capacity building that are hardly ever talked about, and yet I think there are huge ethical dimensions to, to capacity building. Partnerships are usually the only way to access income. And this often results in a sort of mercenary approach to, to, to partnerships. Where is the man? Yes, come on, let's go and enter into partnership. We published this book in the part of the 90s. Um, it's chapters on, on that political change. All of those chapters were written by non Nepalis. This was published in 1993. And deservedly, I got hammered in a review uh, <laughs> by Prashush Alter, called that name, and Mary Deshane. 24 years later, uh, Prashush and I uh, jointly edited this book, which came out of the British Academy South Asian Partnership Project. Uh, indicative of this model is the manner in which in the past and continue to be approached uh, last minute after everything has been made in the research proposal. We have one that was doubly last minute just recently. Uh, we were approached with three days left to a submission deadline. And there's also been a discussion um, in general about ethical, how ethical codes developed in the north travel to the south. And implicit here is uh, a problematization of implementation due to it being in the south. But clearly, we need a larger discussion on ethics before the projects begin. I think that's one of the key factors that has to be mentioned in passing here. But there are a lot of demands on everyone's time. One of the things I'm very conscious of is I'm seeing a lot of colleagues who've never worked outside of the global north suddenly trying to get a piece of the pie. What we're seeing in terms of those who want to do internal reviews of those funding bids is an absolute disregard of questions of language, of power, of ethics.